folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. So, uh, shooting a second intro over here. Uh, I tried to shoot one over there a while ago, and uh, I thought with the, finally a sunny day, the bees would uh, be flying around and not bother me. And, uh, and I was shooting some, uh, some uh, B-roll of the bees flying in and out of the hives through the sun. They were really zipping back and forth. It was pretty neat. And uh, one of them zipped right at me and right stung me right below my right eye. <laughs> I couldn't get the stinger out. I could feel it. So I had to run crying up to the house so my wife could pull it out of my eye. <laughs> and, and anyway, got back down here. And uh, so now we're going to go into uh, Hive 5. Hive 5 is a similar situation to Hive 1. Uh, it, uh, it's a hive that uh, we pulled a... Uh, Artificial swarm took the queen out of it because they were fixing to swarm and I uh, let them make a new queen with swarm cells. I actually uh, went in there later. I saw two virgin queens in this hive and uh, I just left them alone. And uh, out of those two virgin queens, uh, we don't have a, a laying queen in there. Uh, I don't think. Uh, I seen eggs on the 28th, uh, the 26th and the 28th. 28th, I still couldn't tell. Uh, if they're turning into drones or not. Okay, let's be friends. Man, these bees are crazy. And uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, I couldn't tell if they were uh, turned into drones or not. So it's June 2nd. So it's been three or four more days. Uh, ought to be able to tell now if, if all those are turned into drones, which means there's laying workers in there and there's no queen. Uh, so uh, I did that inspection the same day on Hive 6, and Hive 6 uh, was queenless, and I put a frame of brood in there with eggs so they could make a new queen. Uh, so we'll get in that. That'll be the next video after this one, if I have time. But uh, let's get into Hive 5, and uh, if, if we do determine it's laying workers, uh, later this evening uh, I will move... Uh, our nuke uh, hive number 31 which was the queen that we banked so we'll uh, go to the bank and make a withdrawal so uh, let's get into hive five and make a determination see what we're going to do with it and uh, we'll go from there let's get going okay here's hive five entrance check you know it's not good there's a few bees going in and out for double deep hive, you know, it's not booming by any means. So uh, just as a comparison, this is what we want to see more of like this, a lot more coming and going. So first thing we're going to do is get that super off of there. I'm not interested in it. I'm interested in the status of this hive and, uh, I doubt there's much honey in it, if at all. No, it doesn't weigh anything. So this hive has really been set back. Uh, all my hives have been set back quite a bit from the super cold February we had. They're recovering from that quite a bit. A lot of beekeepers lost all their bees. I'm very fortunate. Not a whole lot of bees up here. There's a lot down between the frames. Uh, there's a lot of bees out foraging right now because really good conditions and they haven't been able to forage for quite a while. This has got a lot of nectar in it. So again, we're looking for uh, signs of a queen. We're going to look and look at where these eggs were and see if it's turning into uh, worker brood or drone brood. Uh, this is nectar, a little bit of pollen. Uh, these are drone brood here. Uh, there's nothing back on this side. Uh, there's a few drones forming there. See how these are forming little domes on them? So that's drone brood in a worker, where worker cells ought to be. They ought to be flush. So what, 
what's happened is those are infertile eggs so it's either got a queen that's infertile and laying infertile eggs or we have laying workers let's go a little farther and yeah so we have made a positive determination now so this is definitely uh, not a good thing we, we need to stop this and there's a, a drag queen cell because that's going to be an infertile infertile uh, emergency cell I marked several of those last time with black dots so we've got three on this frame I'm just going to see how they turned out and I don't see them now they tore them down there one was right there so I think they know it's no good here's the ones here they're not forming queens let's uh we'll go a couple more frames and then we need to get busy with our uh, single screen combined same thing elevated capped cells this should all be flat uh, full and laid up with flat cells that don't stick up capped which would indicate a good laying queen so that's not what we have so these cells have mainly just one egg per cell like there's a queen laying but she's just not fertile so I'm going to keep going see maybe if I find her because we want to get her out of there she's she's not a good queen uh, this is all pollen so she wouldn't be there if she's in here see how skittish they are that's a uh, Queenless hives will act like that a lot. I'm going to go back through these frames one more time and see if I spot a queen. I really wasn't looking that close before. I'm interested to see what's in this. So there's a larva right there. So they were doing it like it was a queen but I don't think it would have turned into one plus it was really skinny and long nope okay let's go to the queen bank and uh, make a withdrawal we're gonna go grab that uh, hive and uh, get it over here I'm gonna wait though till the uh, Sun starts to set so my field bees will all be back Okay, what I can do right now is get this hive prepped. So we got my single screen here. And uh, it's not really intended for this use, but that's what I'm going to use it for. If you notice, it's got a, it's, it's not uh, full height all the way around. So bees can get in and out of here. So I'm going to have to put duct tape around the sides of the hive to block this off. So this locks all the bees from the original hive below and we'll set our uh, other box right here so i've got this box here with these uh rotatable entrances and i'm going to block it off so the top bees are locked down we want them locked down for a couple days so they'll reorient to this location if you just put them over here and left that open, the field bees from the donor hive would fly out and go back where they came from and not come back over here. And they won't have a hive over there to go to because we're moving it. So I put a couple wraps of uh, just plain old duct tape around this uh, to block off these sides. And I have done this before where I didn't use these. I would just leave a little slot open on the side for the top boxes uh, entrance and exit.
make one more round. Folded me over a little tab so uh, when I'm ready to pull this off, it'll be easy to do with gloves on because I didn't do that on the other one. <laughs> okay, we got this set up and ready. So uh, let's get over there to the bank queen and I'm going to show you a little trick I'm going to do over there so we don't lose our field bees. We've got uh, probably 45 minutes to an hour of sunlight and I want to keep working. I don't want to stop and wait on that. So uh, let's get over there and I'll show you what we're going to do. It's sopping wet over here. I'm squishing. Check out this uh, big old thunderhead boiling up over there. That's north. They can keep it. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, so that bank queen started laying fast. I think she was probably a queen on a mating flight that got disoriented and she wound up underneath that one hive over there and uh, that was a queen right hive so that wasn't hers so anyway I've already expanded her up to a 10 frame box there is a feeder in there so there's uh, eight frames in there so what we're going to do I'm going to pull a frame out of that 10 put it in this nuke and when I move her over there to hive five I'll scoot this nuke in its place and the field bees will come back and go into that nuke and light on that one frame I leave for them. And uh, at sunset, I'll grab that frame, take it over there and put it in. So let's uh, get going with that operation. See, they're kind of confused. They don't know which one to go in. <laughs> I don't remember if I marked her yet or not. But as you can see, it's a pretty strong hive. They were they were out of room in that nuke. So here's a good frame with some comb on it. And I will just put that right here. And let them come in there. And I don't want to carry this feeder over there. It's going to be heavy enough. This is about half full feeder or a third full. I will pour this into some of my jars that need filled back up. Actually, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll put two of these in here. So our field bees will be coming in right there. Okay, let's make our transfer. Our bank withdrawal. Let's see, my feeder was on this side. I, I decided I'm going to go ahead and put that feeder back in here because they're going to be locked down a couple days. So I'll leave space for it. I'll go get it here in a second. I did mark the queen. And there she is. that nice brood frame there she's laid it all up and I believe they started emerging there in the middle uh, maybe not that may have nectar in there and uh, she's laid a little bit here on both sides of this so as far as this Queen's concerned she's not gonna have any idea 
they're in a different hive because everything's the same same frame same pattern everything nothing's changed except what's underneath her they got lots of nectar on this frame I probably don't need to feed them but I'm gonna go ahead just because of the lockdown all the rain we've had it's not gonna hurt I put that honey super that was on here over on hive number 15 this frame's got a lot of nectar in it too so hive 15 can keep that uh, super comb safe we'll do a twofer there's a few left in here on the inside of this box right there in the corner I could go put that back in that spot so it would look exactly the same. Get this on here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this frame feeder back in there. Again, it's about a third full. Okay, so when the sun sets, I'll get back over there and I'll grab those two frames and uh, put them in here and that'll be the remainder of the field bees so this is the same part of the process when i was doing hive number one that uh the torrential rains hit <laughs> so uh man i got soaked and it was no good anyway i'm going to end the video here i'm not going to show bringing those two frames over here you get the gist you see uh, how uh, they're locked in so they're going to stay this top section will stay locked up for uh, i'm going to keep them in here for 48 hours and uh, they get ventilation from the bees below them with that screen so uh, they won't get too hot and uh, we'll open it up after two days and then we'll let this sit like this for uh, at least a week and uh, probably actually needs to be longer but uh, to, to really get that uh, all those drones hatched out and this queen pheromone spread throughout this hive through that single screen so that's the end of the video. Give me a thumbs up if you would. And uh, don't forget to subscribe on your way out. We hit 8,000. I really appreciate everyone uh, subscribing and commenting. And we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.